All right, guys, so let's get started. Um, I'm gonna try to do a few steps um, tonight. Um, maybe I could get through possibly, I don't know, maybe 10 steps, maybe? Let's just see how it goes, guys. All right, we get to the rear, we get to about here. Anyways, let's get going. So let us start number one. Also, um, these are some recommendation items that they require that you have or, you know, optional stuff as well as far as the motor, um, ESC batteries, stuff like that. Um, but you will need some tools. Um, you'll need a, a 0.5, 2, and 2.5 hex bit. Um, the nut drivers, uh, 5.5 and 7.0. Um, a cutting knife, and need those pliers. Uh, CA glue and some... Um, I guess blue Loctite. All right, so let's grab step number one. Uh, step number one and two. So as you see here, it shows you the blue dots is blue Loctite. So it shows you everything as, full, as far as what you need to do. Hopefully you have everything in the camera. All right, so then I'll need this. Here, which is also cool because once you're done with the build as well, you may have some extra screws. And also you had used this to hold your other extra screws. So I have a bunch of screws as well that's sitting on top of my um, tackle box, but this is much more secure because if my tackle box, I don't secure the top properly, um, a lot of screws come pop rolling out, which I've done that before. So, definitely like this as well. I wonder if these screws are all labeled. So hopefully they are as well. Oh man, these are taped down too. Sorry guys. Lots of tape, guys. All right, that should work. Guys, I am struggling. Struggling. I'll probably just fast forward this part real quick. labeled so you'd have to pretty much just match everything up somehow all right, all right, here. All right. so this guy out time-lapse stuff. try to make these videos you know these clips nice and easy like I said I'll probably do some lock um, time lapse or just some quick clips of me what I'm gonna do to the um, package so basically you should look at the diagram so you have the main chassis and then you will use blue Loctite um, make it find the screws as needed and it tells you it's um, FHM 3 by 8 millimeters and I guess I'll look up the little parts diagram and see which one it is and then you use these guides here on the top and then tighten them down. All right, 
So let's get started. All right, guys. So one thing so far, again, could just be me. The screws, like the bags, are actually not labeled per se. So you have to really know which screw goes where. Um, you have to use the diagram in the back to try to uh, line up which screw goes where. You know, you get the part number here, and it kind of shows you what it is. You got to measure up top, but I mean, for some, it's gonna be pretty easy. Um, somebody like me, I mean, it's not that bad, but I'm not too familiar with the screws in that detail, but. I figured it out. So that could be one thing that will hold you back a little bit. Like I said, the bags are not labeled as far as the actual bag itself. Like they, they didn't put, you know, um, you know, M3 by 15s and stuff like that on, you know, screws. But like I said, a lot of people will probably know those um, type of stuff offhand. Like for somebody that's new, that'll be something you'd have to kind of figure out as well. Loctite on there. And we'll get started, guys. So on the outside. So basically, I'm gonna be doing this all the way around. And then I'm gonna come back with you guys after I put them in. That's basically what I'm doing, all right? Again, I'm trying to save some time and um, space on the video. All right, so I got those screws on there. So I'm gonna use this uh, wheel nut tool to hold down these uh, four nuts for the back and just tighten those down. And I did use blue Loctite on each of the screws. And you will need it for the screw and the nut as well. All right, so. He's taking shape. Um, I said it will take a little bit of time again for uh, beginners. Um, but again, I think the biggest thing would be the screws um, identification, knowing which ones to use. So other than that, I mean, so far it seemed pretty good. I said, except for figuring out which screw is which. All right. So this is what I have so far. This is the first step one. All right, that's what I got. Hopefully you guys can see this in the camera. Um, again, I was using blue Loctite as well. All right, so let's flip the page and let's see what the second page is um, showing, which will be step two. So now step two, we're gonna mount the front uh, lower bumper and this part right here. Okay, and the body post. So we will need M3 by six and another washer, M4 um, lock nuts to secure the body post onto the, I guess the shock, not the shock tower, but the body post tower, all right? Which will go onto here, like so, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get the screws and then get that in there. All right, guys, so now we have just the bottom chassis, or the main chassis of it, done. If I'm bump on, all right, I'm gonna go into step three and four, all right, which will be just on this top plate here. All right, so let's go ahead and get that in there. Um, and go from there. So like I said, so far, the only thing I can see is, um, I mean, they tell you, you know, M3 by 10 uh, millimeter, you know, screw and stuff like that. But again, if you're not too familiar with it, you gotta kind of get it and try to size up and figure it out. I mean, they have a little, um, little measurement thing here you can measure. But for me, that's the only thing that's kind of slowing you down. I mean, I wish the packages had, you know, M4 or whatever on them, but that's fine. What I've been doing is I've been taking the package and making notes like this is the m4 this is the m3 uh three by six so just so i know i go back in to pick out other screws so that's a little tip i could tell you if you're not too familiar with the screws maybe you start and just kind of measure them up at first so you know what which bag is which but anyways go ahead and continue with the build okay guys so the chassis is coming together all right this is up to step number uh, four 
All right. And now we will be going to step number five. This bag has taken me all the way to step number 11. So this is where I'm at. So I'm going to start doing, working on the back section of the car. And again, I'm trying to make the video nice and short just to show you guys its progress. Um, like I said, I will, I mean, I'll recommend you go through. Like I said, I'll start labeling the bags as I do them so it moves quicker, all right? Um, because it's not labeled but again a lot of you guys already may know these screws off by looking at them but somebody like me and somebody newer um may need a little bit of a you know diagram of you know which screw is which but it's not that bad so far guys it's going pretty pretty well so let's go ahead and continue with the build all right so i'm up to about step eight here we go so i got so far um, it's going to get it pretty well. Um, I have one issue with this bolt right here. Um, it's, I guess maybe they didn't drill it out enough, long enough, but I had to put one of the shorter screws here, but then the, the recommended screws over here on the outside of it, this one here. And then one other issue I'm having, I mean, I'm pretty sure I have the right screw, but so this, this, the step here where I'll be make, um, creating this, pulley for right here for some reason i cannot get that one screw to go through the bearing and i believe again this should be the screw that's recommended it's the only one that's like it there's both of them should be going through but it should be able to go straight through but it's not it's getting stuck so i'll figure out I me mean, if it's just kind of mess a little bit but i to move on for a little bit but i'll get back to that um and um get that going but so far, I mean, it's going to go pretty well. A little between this one issue and the one screw. Um, so far, it's going together, guys. So continue building. I'm up to step number eight, which will be these pulleys here. And I, I think I would need to fix this part here, but we'll see, guys. All right, stay tuned for more updates. So quick update. So this is what I got so far. Um, working on and off throughout the day, but this is pretty much what I have for now for the next couple of days. But you know, just put it together. And like I said the rear axle was giving me a little issues. I did manage to um, get this part on. Just had to force it a little bit, but getting the bearing onto that axle is uh, pretty tough. So I'm gonna figure something out. Um, other than that, I mean, it's going together well. It's just like I said, kits take a lot of time to build. Um, so, you know, pretty much getting there, guys. All right. I have the uh, servo mount in the bag when I have the servo and stuff like that. All I have is just this much left as far as building it. This is the axle part that I can't really get put together. It seems like the shaft is a little bit thick for the bearing, but um, we'll figure it out. So I have bag number 21, 22, 23, 24, and the axle and the belts, and pretty much put your electronic stuff in it. So I'm pretty much there. Um, towards the end, but my time is up, guys. Um, that's what I had to do with this car. I said I'll probably get it done in the next couple of days, but just want to give you guys an update on the build. All right, guys, so I got the rear axle built. So one thing I'm going to tell you, these uh, the shaft back here, you will have to use sandpaper and sand it down. Um, you can use 300 uh, grit. The sandpaper here, see the residue on here? I have to sand it down because the bearing that I saw you had having problems before, the bearings wouldn't um, slide onto the drive sh the shaft. So you have to sand it down and get the right uh, size and then the bearings will slide on there. All right, so I had to email um, Team Corrali and that's what the tech told me that I needed to do. All right, so I have the rear axle here assembled and I'll be installing it into the back of the car. I'm sorry for the spotty updates, but it's been pretty hard to get in this car built as far as timing. And I didn't have the time to do full videos on it, but, you know, did as much as I could. But anyways, I'll go ahead and install the rear sh drive shaft and then continue building the vehicle. All right, guys, so here we have it. Got the Team Corrali, the SSX 823. Got it finally built, guys. Um... Just waiting on, I guess he has, uh, but he has to get his um, motor ESE the electronics for it. All right, I'm gonna take my wheels off of my Mugen MRX 
and put it on here to see what it looks like and possibly the body, see if it will line up. And uh, again, that's pretty much it. Everything is built. Uh, it feels like pretty good quality. The directions, it was a little confusing here and there, um, but all in all, got it done. Finally put aside some time to get finished. I do have the servo stuff built. I just don't have a servo for it, so I didn't put the servo um, set up on there, but other than that, uh, it's pretty much complete. All the steps are done. All right, let me put some um, wheels on it and see uh, what it looks like. All right, guys, so here it is with my Mugen MRX um, body on it. This is my Mugen here. I just took the wheels and tires and body off of it. Obviously, the body wouldn't fit um, properly because the holes do not line up, but this body will work on the um, Corrali, Team Corrali, you can see it right here. Just, you know, has to sit down on there. But that's what it looks like with the wheels on there. The same wheels that came off of my Mugen MRX. All right, guys, this will conclude the build on this car. Um, hopefully, we'll get electronics in here at some point, and then, you know, we'll take it out for a run. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.